So we're here with Liam Tancock, Ross Davenport, here at the Blau Hotel, just across the road from the Best Centre in Mallorca. Look at this beautiful surroundings, relaxing with the team. Having a good time, sun's shining. Ross, you beat Ben at um, Paddle yesterday. Tell us about that. Well, I'd like to say I did, but I actually lost two sets to nil. Um, got a rematch tonight, so uh, we're going to beat him tonight, I think. I think Lynn's going to join in tonight as well. Yeah, yeah go do doubles tonight, doubles tonight. What was the first set score, just to remind everybody? It was a close one, it was 6 0. But then uh, I understand that Ben couldn't take the pressure when everyone started. No, Liam and Grant turned up and I think Ben just crumbled, to be honest. And I was 4, four 1 up. Crumbled under the pressure, but as soon as these boys left, uh, I think it was me that was crumbling. And I ended up losing 7 5. So. so you know what they say? I think he's played before, though, to be honest. Yeah, but you know what they say? When, when the pressure's on, the good ones perform really well and then the pressure's off. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> I'd like to think it's something like that, but uh, still lost 2 now. So tell us about the um, the week you've had here. You come out to the best centre quite often as a group, and we notice that you do things a little bit different from some of the other teams that, that come down here. So tell us what you did today, for example, and tell us uh, a bit about the sets you do, the work you do, particularly outside of the swimming pool, and, and what's a typical day on a camp like this? Well, I think uh, at the minute we're training, so this is how different it is. We sat here in the sun lounges by the pool. Um, we had a, after the trials, we came back for a week, um, putting quite a big aerobic block, they took a week's holiday, and then got back in again for another week, and now we're here. So we're only really into the second week of our, our cycle for Worlds, um, so it's all about getting fit. Um, enjoying things, doing things a little bit differently, like say we were playing paddle ball um, yesterday, went on a 35k bike ride, played a, a, a ultimate frisbee, swam 7k, went out for a, probably about a 5k run this morning, um, played a game of rounders again, another 6-7k, so it's mixing it up, trying to get as fit as possible, but also enjoying it in this, this great surroundings you know, we're in mid or we're in mid, early April time now and it's about 25 degrees so it can't be too bad. Just a job. Pretty amazing to be honest like obviously we are we are only just training out here and we're doing a, a five and a half hour session as Ross said mix, mixing up loads of different activities not just swimming you know running and cycling and uh, playing on the beach just having fun lots of circuits and, and getting generally fit and we're here as our teammate eight, nine or ten of us now and um, you know it's pretty pretty exciting to be out here and um, you know in the sun just getting fit and um, getting ready for the next cycle. So you do a lot of cross training and we know that. When you're out of the pool though, it's not all fun and games. Talk about the sets that you'll do in the pool because you don't just do stuff in the water, you do a lot of go in the gym, do a lot of land and then get in and do a set. Talk us through some, some of the sets that you do like that. It depends really, like um, it changes quite a bit. We do a lot of um, weight swim combos where we'll actually do some you know, like a, a set in the gym like for example a uh, bench press or a squat um, and then we're getting in the water straight away so we'll be in our trunks doing our, our stuff in the gym um, literally dive in the pool do something powerful um, do a slight aerobic block jump out again and we'll do another set in the gym and back in the pool and we'll keep you know switching in and out of the pool so you know at the best center we've got the facilities to be able to do that we've got the gym right beside the uh, Right beside the pool, and we can we can mix it up quite a lot. So we're using what's around us to, to get the best out of our training. What's the thinking behind doing a set in the gym and then jumping in the water? I think, I think it's all about transferring power, um, fatiguing muscles in the gym, you're trying to get them firing, and then you transfer that into the pool. Um, so it's getting them firing and probably getting them more fatigued. So it's going to hopefully work out the back end of the race. When your muscles are are ultimately fatigued and then you know, hopefully going to finish the race very strong so I think that's the thinking behind it and it's also just, just mixing it up instead of just doing a, a 7k aerobic session with a bit of speed it's, it's mixing the, combining the two together um, and getting the best of both worlds. I think it keeps you fresh as well that's one of the main things it does keep you fresh obviously you know you're going from one energy system to another you're doing lifting heavy stuff into you know just um, just the drag of the water so you're mixing up quite a bit and, and you're getting the best out of both areas um, rather than fatiguing through a 7k set or fatiguing through an hour and a half gym session you're mixing them in together um, and, and keeping your mind fresh as well. You do a lot of 
really fast paced stuff. So it's either, it seems to me, all at the speed you want to be swimming, or it's very low level, skill based, holding the stroke together. Yeah, I think you, know, you can try and teach the body to swim as fast as possible, um, for as long as possible. So the more, the more um, distance you do at race pace, the easier it should feel in the race. Um, and then obviously you've got to recover from that, so that's when the easy swimming comes into it. Um, it's not really a, a great deal of middle ground, because at the end of the day we don't want to be swimming you know, in, in that middle ground area. We either want to be swimming really, really quick or recovering, so we can swim, swim quick for the following session. So give us an example of a set that you really have enjoyed and enjoy getting your teeth into. Something that you think this is really going to help me when I'm standing on the block and in the race. This set is really it for me. For me, it's not really a specific set. We tend not to do you know sets back to back or the same set every week. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've ever really done the same set twice. Um, ben thinks outside the box quite a bit, my coach, and um, you know that keeps us fresh, keeps us going, and. Um, so basically anything for me, anything that's fast, anything that's you know firing, um, I like wearing my fins quite a bit. Um, so over speed, that, yeah, really, I love wearing my fins actually. And um, so anything that's really fast, to be honest, you know, from a from a standing start, and um, you know, getting yourself time to put yourself under pressure. To get a lot of feedback, does Ben talk to you and say, what do you think about this? We're going to try this. Don't know how it works. Tell me what you think. How much do you input into what's going on? I don't think I have a, a massive input. We've got to that level now where we're at our brawl, there's all the whole group are at an elite level. We kind of know what's best for each individual. So I think Ben sometimes throws things out there and we have to give him the feedback. Sometimes it doesn't work and we just kick it to the wayside or we carry on with it. But the, the cycle, so it's, it's all about the teamwork, it's not about just getting a session and getting on with it. You're a pretty tight team. You, you you seem to have fun together. I mean, you, you come to the pool with a smile. Everyone seems to enjoy the workouts. You get out with a smile. How important is that in your in your day to day? I think it's extremely important. But look where we are. We're out in the sun. Um, it's 25 degrees. It's, you know, there's worse jobs that you could be doing. Can't help but smile, really. Yeah, you know, <laughs> keeping fit. You can travel in the world, and there's a great group of people here doing it with us. So it's. You know, it's I think for me, we're all like-minded people. We, we're here because we want to be here. We want to be the best we can. And um, you know, when you've got a group behind you and you know the best coaching, best facilities, you know, as Ross said, what's not to smile about? We're sitting here, Franz over there, Lizzie's over there, Jojo's over there. I mean, this is like an unbelievable squad you've got. Oh, we've got world record holders, world champions, Olympic medalists, Commonwealth champions. European champions, you know, you, you name it, it's in this group, um, and it's a, it's a great group to be in because everyone wants to, to try and be top dog in the group, so it's it, it just drives everyone forward, and it's, it's just great to train against um, some great individuals and great athletes. I think it's quite a young group, really, and we're all quite fresh, and we're all, you know, we've all got that drive and, and that will to to do it, and everyone's pushing each other on at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? I can. I can knock in a set against Ross or Grant, and um, you know, go head to head on freestyle, or you know, head to head with me and Fra me and Fran on um, when she's doing freestyle, and I'm doing backstroke. So there's a lot of experience within the group. We're all young, and we're all eager. So, so someone's having a bad day. It's easy when it's, it's all going well. Do you all pitch in and pick each other up when it's not so good? Yeah, I, I think so. You certainly tell someone if they're certainly not pulling the weight anyway, um, but it very, very rarely happens in, in this group. Um, because like Liam said, we all want to the same goal, we all want to achieve great things. Um, but yeah, it's certainly we all, we all get the support when things are going well, but also when things aren't going so well, which isn't very, it doesn't happen very often. But um, everyone just puts in and tries to pick that person up. And everyone's got everyone else to, you know, we can all talk to each other, we're like a a little family here and we can all speak to each other, get, get each other's advice and um, you know, help each other through the good times and the bad.